nail the blighter. Nothing will pass undetected. Fare thee well, young Zoe. Hello? Bonjour, Giselle. Your what? Well, yes. Oh, yes, of course. Alors, à bientôt. Val! Zoe! That was Giselle Montour on the phone. She's managed to get a flight three days earlier. Be here in half an hour. Oh, look at my clothes and my hair. Mum, I wanted to wash my hair. Never mind your hair. We've got to get your room ready. Sean! Yes, Mum? Oh, flick a dust around the living room while I'm helping Zoe. Yeah, I'll just take out my stool. Forget the stool. But, Mum, I've get got... Get a move on. I'll take it up for you. Crazy stool of Sean's, I expect. Crazy's the word. I reckon we ought to lock him in his room while Giselle's here. You left the box there? I had no choice. So I was in cahoots with Jones. You could have found an excuse. I don't ask much. I've just saved you from having a chunk sawn off. And all I get is complaints. And unless you bring me some food soon, I won't have the energy to transanimate objectify anymore. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> if I managed to get the box up here, would that really help? Yes, obviously. I'll go. You must be Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> Come along in, Shazam. I'm Val Roddick. Madame Roddick, I am so pleased to meet you. Ah, uh, that's torn it. The French girl's arrived. French girl? Arrived for what? To stay. Oh, black holes and quasars. If we haven't got enough trouble, now we've got someone else roaming around the house. She's a guest. An invited one. Uh, meaning I'm not. Ah, uh, Sean, yes. come and meet Giselle. <laughs> uh, Giselle, this is uh, Sean. Oh, enchanté. Bonjour, Suzanne. <laughs> the family eccentric. All the best English families have one. She books the fun, Miss Parshon. She's a real comic. <laughs> the poltergeist. Oh, uh, je m'excuse. My bagage, it falls over. I'll take them up for you. Uh, no, Monsieur Radoc, uh, not yet. Perhaps you'd be so kind as to bring the petite one into the salon. Right. <laughs> Well, uh, it's nothing. It's just a vacuum cleaner falling over. Zoe, Sean, I have some presents for you. And for Sean, the chocolat. Merci, Giselle. <laughs> and for Zoe, voila. It's just this magnet and these energy cells. What's it for, then? Who knows with Gemida? Could be a decoy. Oh. Did you, uh, bring them? What? The, uh, chocolates. There's nothing wrong with your hearing, is there? Hmm? No, I left them downstairs. <sighs> anyway, they're probably poisoned. Poisoned? This French girl might be Gemida. But you said Jones was Gemida. It could be both. Now you've really flipped. Uh, have you seen them together? We could go out to the front door as Jones and come back in as the French girl. But no trouble at all for Gemida. 
There is something, are you said, strange about me this morning, Sean? Uh, no. I think yes. You regard me with the odd look. Sorry. As if I am, are you say, something from the sky? Creature from outer space? Oui, exactement. From outer space. No. He'd expect you to have green horns and a scaly snout. Oh, shut up, Zoe. Shall I change for you, Sean? It would please you. Something horrible. Go get up. <clears throat> Back gate open, so I took the shortcut. I've come to collect my gadget. Ah. Been having a deco, have we? Discover anything? No deep, dark secrets? No. They can't both be Gemida. I've seen them together. Who cares? The way things are turning out, I'll probably starve to death. Oh, you shouldn't be cooking lunch, Giselle. You're our guest. It is my pleasure, madame. Giselle says she's training to be a chef. Oh. C'est vrai. I am preparing for you a very special dish. Great, aren't they? Mm. What did you say they were called? They are called the Frambecker Pies. That's funny. Sean was making those the other day. Was he? And now, while we wait for them to bake, I have for the family another very special surprise. Oh, hurry up, slow coach. We're waiting for you. Giselle's going to show us a special video of where she lives in France. There is no need to make an adjustment. Just enjoy. you see. After me. What? Giselle? Oh, talk sense. She's Gemida. I found this in her bag. It's the Iron Tagger. I. That's 
the end of the Iron Tagger. Not the end of Chazelle. She's still at the house. Black Holes and Quasars, do you have to remind me? I'm just trying to be practical. You can't just hang around here all the time. No, I haven't any choice, have I? But you starve me till I'm drained of energy. It's impossible for me to transanimate Objectify. So what else can I do but stay out here? Do you reckon you can make your own way to the pavilion? When you awake, you will remember only a video of France. You okay? No. I've had time to think. Someone in the family must be a spy. A spy? Not mum or dad. Or you. Zoe. After me proving she hadn't stolen that money, too. You're suffering from brain starvation. How else would Gemma to know about the French girl? That's easily explained. We read the Hexton Weekly. The paper promoted the scheme. We even had photos of the girls. Tuck in. We're going to need plenty of energy. Why? To try and animate objectifying. Transanimate objectify? Any interesting stamps? This one's for you, Mum, from France. France? Can I have the stamp? Yeah. Hey, be careful. You know he tore the stamp. Why should you care? Collector. Zoe, where's your cell? Um, in the bedroom. Bad news, I'm afraid. You better come with me. Nosy. Ugh. Might have guessed. Back to front. Bash, bang, bash, bang. May as well never stop ringing after all this. Ouch! I cannot understand it. My grandmother was perfectly well when I left. Well, the letter was quite specific, Giselle. Your parents want you to return home immediately. Why not phone them if you're in doubt? Shall I get the number? No. Ready then? Don't want to miss the plane. Goodbye, Giselle. Have a nice flight. Goodbye, Zoe. To you, Sean, I say au revoir. Or as you say in English, till we meet again. <laughs> Oh, no. I just popped in to see if you'd had any more unexplained happenings. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <coughs> oh, going deaf, Jeremiah. I've been bawling at you all down the road. You know Brigadier Jones? Brigadier? Uh, we're cousins. Uh, second, isn't it, Hilda? Third. Brought next week's recipe. Thanks. Been telling you he's an army officer, has he? Well, yes. Oh, last time it was Interpol. Well, I must say, he aims high. Quite harmless. Eccentric of the family. The rest of us are like me. <laughs> Perfectly normal. <laughs> Come on, Jeremiah. I've got a haggis on the boil. Oh, jolly good. I'll call again. <clears throat> oh, hang on a minute. When I first came in, I intended to put this one to dad in. Oh. Great Scott, Jeremiah. How are you going to feed it? Oh, Sean, I haven't forgotten your friend, Mr. Watt. Give him my regards. Hi, diddly di do hi dee dee. Mr. Watt? What on earth?